I'm my day for you. My day for you. My heart beats for you. Every time when I think of you, you play out the game. I don't want you away. Hi guys, you are welcome back to my channel. If you are seeing me for the first time. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella Sutebo, the lady with a smile, but a talented lady, dramatic reactor. Mm. All the Clebet family, you are welcome to my channel. Lovers and haters of Clebet, you are welcome to my channel. So today, guys, <laughs> let's expose, like you and I, let's sit down and advise and talk about the real reason why the Clebet decide to move to Atlanta. It's going to be very interesting because I have got a couple of comments to talk about it. Other comment is hate comment. I don't understand, guys. This channel, I do content like reacting. I react for people video. So I am sorry if I react on your, your favorite and you get angry. Trust me, these people that I react for them, like the claim it, they know that. I don't hate them. I don't have any hate in my heart. So I don't know how long will I keep on explaining this thing. So the thing is that, or the truth is that, whatever you do, there are people who's going to complain and people who's going to misunderstand you. So who am I <laughs> to stop you from misunderstanding me? If complaining or misunderstanding me or dropping your hate comment is going to make you happy, I don't want to stop your happiness. I'm not going to stop your happiness. So keep it on, okay? In the last that I do this content and it attracts you to come to my channel to watch. And another problem is that some of you don't watch to the end. You don't watch to comprehend what the video is all about. You just come by the title, by the thumbnail, and drop your nonsense. Please stop it because I am blocking, blocking. I'm going to block you. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, guys, so welcome back to my channel. Some of you are disappointed because you feel or you are waiting for the clever to come out and tell you the real reason why they travel to Atlanta. I don't understand. Like, some of you that think, oh, these content creators or these YouTubers or these influencers that they show you their lifestyle doesn't really mean that they show you their 100% lifestyle. Sometimes I do lifestyle on this, my channel. It doesn't mean that I show everything about me. So, I'm sorry if you are disappointed that still yet you are waiting for them to open their mouth and tell you this is the reason why we moved to Atlanta. I'm sorry, baby girl or baby boy. They might not tell you any moment from that. <laughs> but that's why you are in this channel, right? Yeah, that's why you click on this video to get the gist huh? from me, from the horse's mouth. Wow. <laughs> so, at this moment, click on that join, support this channel, like this video, mm -hmm, and subscribe if you haven't. Turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post any content, whether it's my vlog, my reactions, or whatever, you'll be notified. So now let's get started. Anyway, guys, um, the Clement, in case you don't know, they, they are popular YouTubers, they are influencers. These are two couples who got married. I think the uh we see who is the man in his is in his 40s, right? And you know. Befe or Befa is in her 20s. So they came together, they got married, they're a terrible couple. A terrible couple is when coupled or one couple is disabled and the other is not. They are a terrible couple, they are Africans. Uh -huh. So recently, then after they had a baby, and uh, being that we see, you know, is suffering or had this genetic problem that make him to be or kept him the way you are seeing him in stature and everything. You know, a lot of people advise them for them to go to IVF and blah blah, adopt and so many things. But they decided that this their first baby, they are going to have it true, uh, as a true uh the main process like having the sperm of the man, the man which is we see and you know putting it. You know, they did this. This thing, you understand? You, you can go to your channel, you understand what I'm talking about. So, and she gave birth to a baby girl. Her name is Malakai. Unfortunately, uh, the baby has, you know, this uh, genetic issue. As I always say, I feel the baby so is not going to be as severe as the dad. Now, recently, they moved to Atlanta, and a lot of, you know, a lot of subscribers are wondering why. Did they move to Atlanta? They should come out and say the reason why they moved to Atlanta. Now, this is the reason I'm doing this video. 
Somebody dropped this video. Do you think they moved to America because they are going to the doctors over there? There is something wrong. But I think they are hardly it. The baby should be creeping by now and holding on stuff. Or be placed in a worker. Or in any case, I know the baby will have lots of love. Trust me, this person is not a hater. This person dropped his or her own honest opinion or her honest opinion. Okay. Another person say the baby has a wasting condition, but she will make it just like her dad. They have that resilient Kenyan blood. Now, this is it. I haven't watched that video why they moved to uh, Atlanta and then I got to this comment. But this person is saying that the reason why they moved, do I think that the reason why they moved is because of their baby or because something is wrong, you know, and all that. Definitely. Okay, definitely. Even without them saying, the truth is that that could be one of the reasons why they moved to Atlanta. Trust me, nobody is going to do something without he or she going to benefit from it. Nobody is going to do something. Nobody is going to do something without he or she knowing what uh, you know, having some reasons for doing it. So they can't just wake up one morning and decide to go to Atlanta. Okay, we have so many doctors, best doctors, there and all that. Probably they want to prevent their daughter not to have that condition or not to be severe as that of the dad. Meanwhile, the baby is cute and the baby is active in a way, but right now, the baby should be crippled or, you know, standing and all that. But we see, we keep praying for them and, you know, this is one of the reasons why they keep getting hate comments because people feel they are not real. Like, they, they are not telling them everything about themselves. They are not telling them, okay, this is what we are doing, this is what, are doing, what we are doing. And when I watch their video, the, the, the reasons why they moved to Atlanta, I also watched this present where they said, ask me your biggest question. Like seriously, in that video, they did not say anything. Okay, they did not say the reason. Even when they mentioned it in their uh, title. Okay, they keep on saying, when I watch the video, they keep on saying that they moved because they think, yeah, Atlanta is better off for them. And, you know, um, Wissi said he's not driving now, he's trying to get a customized car and, uh, you know, they want to get jobs, you know, they will just say a lot of things, but they never mention doctor because they want, you, they want to keep you waiting, they never mention doctor, they never mention their daughter health, but this could be one of the reasons, okay, this could be one of the reasons, and this other comment I got, somebody said they will keep getting hate comment because they are acting like the child is normal do you think that we say they are acting as if their child is normal they are acting as if there's no problem they are acting as if oh it is well and then it is not well i'm just asking so and they refuse to talk about it they put themselves on this platform and then knowing knowing bringing a child into this shape or them it's not perfect. How many broken bones does the child have have to enjoy? Oh my god. I think this person is is so emotional writing this. Like yeah. he's feeling he's putting himself in that shoe. Like, how many broken bones is the child going to endure? How long will the child keep on being this like in this condition? Okay. So they keep getting his comments because you know, they are acting as if it is normal, like everything is okay. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to open up. And which is true. Which is true. Like, this is true. This commenter is so right, okay? This commenter is so right. In his own opinion, okay, guys? So, if you, there is problem and you acting as if there is no problem, yes, it's not everybody, anybody business for you to talk about. But this is what you brought into social media. You have brought your life. You brought your child. So, we're going to talk about it. Like, people are going to talk about it. You can't control what people think about you. You can't control what people think about your baby. You can't control what people think. But you can control your action. So as you from day one, you did not bring your child. Nobody will talk about it. But you bring it in. People are going to, you know, it's going to be assumed, assumption. There's going to be a lot of assumption. It could be positive, it could be negative. So whichever way, my prayers, or all we should pray for them that God bless them and God, you know, make this baby strong. Like, this condition shouldn't be worse. And as they go to doctors, uh, there in Atlanta, which might be or which is their major reason of moving, everything should get better, things should turn out better. And they said that they are planning to move permanently, they are planning to stay, like stay for many months. They want to stay for how long as they can. 
okay so god bless them and i pray that everything work well okay guys so this is the end of this video what is your opinion do you think they are pretending as if the child is normal do you think that the reason why they moved to atlanta is because of the baby because of Wacy and their child what is your opinion about this video who drop your audience opinion please the law is sold because i'm going to block you okay thank you guys for watching this video see you in my next video bye